a, a moment, if I can, to mention this story, another story that comes under the bracket of the world has gone absolutely stark raving mad and utterly bonkers. Oxfam have said... Uh, you may have seen this, Mike talked about it a little earlier, and I think Julia had a rant about it too. Oxfam International has said that a cartoon of a woman wearing a turf badge, T-E-R-F, in its new Pride video was not intended to portray the Harry Potter author J.K. Rowling. Now, TERF, of course, for those who don't know, is an acronym that stands for Trans Exclusionary Radical Feminist, which critics have labelled Rowling as in the past due to her views on transgender people. Now, J.K. Rowling does not have any negative views about transgender people, OK? You can see on your screen there that... Uh, th there's the cartoon image that Oxfam came up with, and there is uh, J.K. Rowling, uh, one of our most treasured and gifted and fabulous uh, authors and people, I would say, and uh, is merely just... Well, she's firstly standing up for biological women, or should I just say women, and uh, she's just speaking common sense, and there's no harm and there's no hate or anything in what she says at all. And the idea that J.K. Rowling has set out with some kind of uh, crude and cruel agenda to deliberately want to upset or cause pain to any group of people is a nonsense but it doesn't stop radical uh, trans campaigners uh, most of whom aren't trans by the way uh, they're often just sort of marxist men with the hump who have decided that she is the antichrist for some curious reason and so she has be become sort of public enemy number one to some of these people. And for those that are perpetrating and purporting that kindness is the best way forward in this world, kindness, be understanding of other lifestyles and cultures, be kind. For those people that are arguing that, you have never seen so much poisonous, bilious, disgraceful, horrendous, libelous, illegal, criminal terms, phrases, threats to one person, as you have seen from that group towards J.K. Rowling. Open brackets, the woman who wrote Harry Potter. Close brackets. Seriously? This is the hate figure? Really? Are you half-wit serious? Oh, yeah, it's definitely J.K. Rowling. She's the worst of the world. She should go to the county jail. Really? J.K. Rowling we're talking about here. Give your head a wobble, you halfwits. What's wrong with you? J.K. Rowling we're talking about, not Eugene Terblanche. Get with it. Have a day off, for God's sake. That's only half the story. The other part of the story is, what the hell is Oxfam doing wading into this? You're a charity that has done brilliant work over the years, and I don't dispute any of that, and I'm sure it's been hard and troubling and difficult, and you've raised lots of money all over the world, and you've tried to feed starving people and put systems in place and make life better for those who have nothing and get to places where people can't ordinarily reach. That's brilliant. Keep on doing that. It's fabulous. The water campaigns, the campaigns for education, the campaigns to give people a roof, the campaigns to give people clothes. It's brilliant, Oxfam. Keep doing that. Just don't get involved in politics that don't concern you, particularly when it comes to J.K. Rowling and trans issues. Because what you did there, frankly, I think, people, the, the big cool cats at Oxfam, you guys should know better, right? Because you're fueling the fans of real hatred here, and it's not a good look.